to the Storybook Show. Once again, my name is Ryan. I will be your host this evening. And let's just get started with tonight's story called Captain Fantastic. Princess Aura always had the best birthday parties, and this year, friends from all over the galaxy were heading to her planet to enjoy the celebrations. Captain Fantastic and his wonder dog, Winston, had packed a perfect present for their inspiring friend. However, Captain Fantastic's arch nemesis, the evil Dr. Zob, was determined that there would be no birthday cake for the pair at the end of this trip. The rocket ship stood proudly on the launch pad ready for takeoff. Captain Fantastic had just finished loading Princess Aura's awkwardly long birthday present. That's it, Winston, he said, patting his faithful dog. Now I just need to go and return all this wrapping paper. And he headed towards the hangar while untangling himself from the super sticky tape he'd used to wrap the gift. Winston gave a happy bark and off Captain Fantastic went into the space hangar. As Winston returned to the spaceship, he thought he saw someone walking away from the rocket. He looked familiar. Was that Dr. Zob? Later, in the ship, all systems were ready to go. Lights blinked, screens lit up, and Captain Fantastic and Winston were strapped in and ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off and away we go, shouted Captain Fantastic, a big grin on his face whenever he headed back into space. Today, Winston only gave one little whimper, though. What was that Dr. Zob up to? On Dr. Zob's great ship, however, there was only laughter. The kind only an evil genius can produce. Deep from the stomach and exploding from the mouth. Good luck, Captain Fantastic. Enjoy your ride. Not long now, Winston. Princess Aura's planet is just around the next sun, explained Captain Fantastic. Out of the window, Winston stared at the golden planets and the shining suns flying past as they hurtled through space. <laughs> the cool hum of the spaceship was suddenly thrown into chaos as the red warning light flashed and the ship suddenly and sharply turned around. Oh no! cried Captain Fantastic. We're going the wrong way! Winston looked at the screen and saw where they were headed. Oh no indeed. The yellow rocket ship was now headed towards the crazy comet cluster, the zaniest place in space, of course. Hundreds of blazing red comets swarmed around a golden yellow sun, and if a spaceship got too close, they would chase and churn in it for hours upon hours. Winston barked and ran to the back of the ship. Don't worry, boy, said Captain Fantastic. It'll be okay. I hope. As he started pressing buttons and fighting with the spaceship's steering wheel. Sweat broke out on his forehead and his eyes widened into two moons of panic. Winston was not really scared, however. He was searching for whatever the mischievous Dr. Zob had hidden on their ship. Winston knew that it was the only reason they were in trouble, but what was it? Watching from behind a small green moon was the shadowy spaceship of Dr. Zob. A big smile of satisfaction grew on his face as he watched the captain's ship head towards the crazy comet cluster. Once again, his evil laugh echoed around the gleaming cockpit of his ship. Magnetic force, keep that rocket off course, he whispered to himself. Winston knew they were almost out of time when he saw it. Or rather, he sniffed out the evil stench of where Dr. Zob had been. It was a small blinking box just underneath the main computer. That had to be it. Dr. Zob had made the yellow rocket go in the wrong direction using one of his mischief machines. Quick as a flash, Winston snatched the box in his jaws and, teetering along the lengthy birthday gift, threw it into the Space Particle Accelerator Machine, SPAM for short. He then used his paws and sent the device back to Dr. Zob's nearby ship. Let's see how much he enjoys those crazy comets, thought Winston. Back on the bridge, Captain Fantastic was still banging, twisting, pushing, and pressing everything he could when suddenly the ship turned around and headed back to Princess Aura's planet. Winston trotted in and gave a friendly, happy bark. I told you not to worry, Winston. As I say, with the captain around, a solution is found. Winston gave a happy bark before picking up his favorite bone and settling back to enjoy the remainder of the journey. A short while later, Captain Fantastic and Winston were getting hugs and high fives as Princess Aura opened up her birthday present. Anti-gravity skis! Cool, she said while up above some crazy comets were chasing a rather unhappy Dr. Zob. 
All right, so that was Captain Fantastic. I think if there's anything we can learn, um, it's through the perspective of Winston, right? Because throughout the entire story, he can't he can't communicate with Captain Fantastic, but he's the one who's out there looking for what Doctor Zob put on the ship, and he and he goes out and he fixes the problem. He sees Doctor Zob, you know, messing with something, and and he goes in and he 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 takes care of it. Um, and he doesn't even ask to be rewarded. He doesn't. He doesn't even take credit for it. I think that, I think that's the most important part. That Winston goes in. He saves the day. He's the hero of the story. And he doesn't ask for a reward. He doesn't ask for praise. Nothing. He's just happy to. He's just happy. He's happy to sit back and enjoy his bone until they get to Princess Aura's party. So. I think if, if there's any, if there's lesson to be learned from this book, I think that's it. If you're going to be a good person, be a good person for the sake of it. Not because you want a reward and not because you want to seem like the hero, but just because it's the right thing to do. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, and thank you once again for watching this episode of The Storybook Show. Once again, my name is Ryan and I have been your host this evening. Thanks.